Hello, I'm Shane Wilson, founder of Fishing's Future. Got some really neat things I want to show you today. First of all, I want to show you my personal favorite knot. If I'm using a top water bait or a crank bait or a spoon on a fly rod, this knot is specifically designed to allow your bait to have a little bit more action. So this is called the Lefty Cray No Slip Knot or the No Slip Knot. And the first thing what I want to do is I want to take my fishing line and I want to tie an overhand granny knot in. I want to give myself quite a bit of space here when I tie this granny knot, but I'm just going to simply tie a granny knot. There's what we have so far. I'm taking this down. This is a regular overhand knot. It's the very first knot that we use. It's a very easy knot to tie. When we tie our shoe, we even tie this knot. So that's what I do. I take my first, tie that right there you know, eight or 10 inches from the end of your tag. Take your hook. Where's my hook? There it is. Take your hook. I've got my granny knot or my overhand knot right there. I take the fishing line and I simply stick it through the eye of my hook and I let it slide down to pretty close to where my knot is. Now, the next part is very important. You take your tag in and you stick it right back through the granny hook or your overhand knot in the same area, the same way that your line initially came through. There we go. I pull this up like this. Now I'm gonna pinch everything with my fingers. What I have done is I have my loop knot, my overhand knot, and I have the line coming right back through. Actually, that's what I've done, but. It's coming right back through the same way it goes, passes through there. Now, I hold this, I take my tag in right here, and I twist it around five times around the standing part of the line. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now, now that I have my tag in, I wanna slip it right back through my overhand knot the same way that it came out. So you can see where, where it's coming out of the knot. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it right back through there and I'm gonna hold it. I've got my hook and so now what I need to do is I'm going to pull on the standing part of the line. As I pull on the standing part of the line, you can see what's happening. This is sliding down and there's what my, Lefty Cray loop knot looks like. The nice thing about this knot is, is it allows for ample movement of your bait. It is not tied directly to the hook. It allows the hook to swing freely. So if I'm walking the dog or if I want some good action on my crank bait or on my top water bait or my spoon, even with a fly rod, this allows for that to go freely. Another nice feature about this is, is the tag end is actually pointing back towards the bait. So that, and I would trim this off about right there. I'd trim it off fairly, fairly short on to that knot. It also allows this, that when you're pulling your line with your reel and you're pulling it in this direction, that if there's any grass or any moss or anything in the water, your tag end does not catch it. It hits here and it goes down through. Again, I would cut my tag in off about right there and it would allow for that grass and stuff to step right on over the bait. It's a very nice knot as compared to this knot, which is the cinch knot. Um, and it is pressed right down onto the hook and it does not allow for any free movement. This one allows for all kinds of movement. Again, this was the lefty cray knot and it's a very simple knot to tie. You tie an overhand granny knot go through the eye of the hook, take your tag end and go back directly through the granny knot, just like you did when you came through, go back right back through it, five times around your standing part, bring your line back around and stick it right back through that granny knot and then pull on the standing part of your line. I hope that helps. If you need to watch this video again, please do so. Please subscribe to our Facebook or our YouTube channel. We'll see you again on the water. Have a great day and good luck fishing.